Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is OneSkill and today I will show you how you can do a mirror effect in PowerPoint. Let me show you a couple of examples so you better understand how this effect looks like. So basically I would say there are two types of mirror effects. So the first one is horizontal. As you can see the photo splits horizontally into both directions symmetrically, symmetrically. <laughs> this way creating horizontal mirror effect. And as you can see it can go back. So that's cool. The second type is vertical mirror effect. And as you can see, the photo splits into up and down this way, you know, creating this vertical mirror effect. And of course, it can go back. That's awesome. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the action. And I will show you step by step how you can create this kind of effect sitting comfortably at home on your sofa on, or on your chair. And it's pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's get going. And of course, I want to say huge thanks to all of my Patreons who support me on Patreon. So thank you Brad, thank you Galaman, Hans, Jacob, Krista, Michelle, Permanent, Pelek, Philip, Richard, Robert, Thomas and Tim. Thank you guys, every one of you are just wonderful. So ladies and gentlemen, let's start with a mirror effect. As always, let's open up a fresh new blank presentation. Right click on the first slide, let's go to layouts and select blank because we don't need any of the placeholders. Uh, let's just make sure that our guides are activated. Just go to view and click uh, checkbox on the guides because these guides, these two lines will be very useful for us and I will show you soon. So let's just go to insert pictures and let's pick a picture with which we would like to create a mirror effect. So for example, this one. Awesome, awesome picture. So now what we have to do is of course we have to make sure that uh, our picture covers fully the whole slide. So in this case I can say that yes, <laughs> this picture fully covers the whole slide. So that's good. And in case you have, you know, picture which looks maybe something like this don't worry just go to crop aspect ratio and choose 16 by 9 this way your picture will be cropped to 16 by 9 and after that you can just drag it out and this way you will fill the whole slide but in this case we don't have to do it because our picture nicely covers the whole slide okay okay so now we can try to do this uh, horizontal mirror effect so to do that we first have to crop uh, our picture into half. So let's uh, select this picture, go to format, click on crop. Let's grab this black uh, handle and let's crop our picture somewhere to the middle like this. And let's click on crop again. Okay, so now our picture is cropped. Now what we have to do, we can just select this uh, image, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now let's put this second half on, on this uh, right side and let's go to rotate and let's flip our image horizontally. So now we have something like this. Let's watch it on full screen. Yes. Now what we have to do, we just select this first slide. We right click on it and choose duplicate slide. And on the second slide, we have to go to transitions and make sure that you select morph transition. Morph transition is uh, pretty, pretty essential for everything to work. And now on the second slide, we can actually just uh, delete for, for now this side of the image. We will you know, duplicate it later. Now what we have to do, we just select our image, image go to format click on crop and now we move our image uh, to the left so let's say somewhere here okay let's cl click on crop again 
and now we can duplicate it again let's put it on the right side and again we flip it horizontally and basically we're finished so let's just make sure that on the transitions we have set the transition to morph so that's good the first slide really doesn't matter what kind of transition it has and now let's check it out on the full screen what do we have skadoosh horizontal mirror effect in action so that's beautiful uh, you may notice there's a little white glitch on the left side of the screen whoops yeah it sometimes pops out so to fix this uh, glitch you can just uh, set the background of both of these slides to black color so format background choose solid color and black color okay and now let's check it out again okay looks much much better and of course if you want to put some text on top of your slides you can always just go to insert click on text box and you know just type anything you want oops yep anything you want well i have already created a few text boxes in my uh, first presentation that i did so let me just copy those text boxes so let's paste this uh, text box on the first slide now we can copy it and we can paste it on the second slide and we can move it to the right side of the slide so this way the text box will move to the right side let's check it out beautiful and we can as well manipulate the duration of transitions so now it's uh, two seconds we can set it to four seconds so this way this uh, horizontal mirror effect will happen a little bit slower and maybe you know in more elegant way <laughs> let's check it out beautiful so ladies and gentlemen now we are finished with the horizontal mirror effect and now let's try to do this uh, vertical mirror effect so again let's insert a new slide let's uh, insert a picture so for this vertical effect it's um, i would say it's good when you have this kind of vertical image which goes you know vertically not horizontally so now what we have to do is of course just make sure that our image nicely covers the whole slide and we just drag it down a little bit you know you can always uh, look at this uh, left side of your, of your screen how your slide actually looks like so I would like uh, to make this uh, you know only this part visible this you know this stuff with which you play the games how is it called controller so let's make sure that only the game controller is visible uh, let me zoom out a little bit let's actually select this image go to format crop and let's crop this image to slide size something like this and actually let's um, click on crop again and let's crop it to the half of the slide yes something like this and let's move this uh, game controller a little bit up so that we can see it nicely okay something like this and now as before we just duplicate this uh, part of the image and we bring it to the bottom of the slide and we just flip it vertically okay so we have something like this awesome now we duplicate the slide and on the second slide we can delete this image because we will adjust this image and after that we will duplicate it so yeah we select this image let's go to format click on crop and now we just uh, you know drag the image upwards until we you know we find a spot that we're happy with so for example something like this okay we zoom back in select this image ctrl d to duplicate let's move it to the bottom and to the left side 
let's uh, flip it vertically let's make sure that the transition is set to morph on the second slide the first one really doesn't matter and let's check out and of course we can uh, set the duration to four seconds so everything looks much more elegant and let's check out the result beautiful so as you can see <laughs> there are a lot of different parts that make up the game controller awesome and as in my original original presentation you just can insert a few text boxes uh, you know it might be your slide title or you know just some kind of awesome slide that you have in your presentation so yeah just paste some text in the middle you can actually you know manipulate a little bit the positioning of your text for example you might put uh, you know your text boxes a little bit more on the right side in one slide and in the first slide you can put it more on the left side so let me actually show you what kind of effect it will give so as you can see the text boxes move a little bit from left to right and now from left to right <laughs> so yeah ladies and gentlemen that was the big secret of the mirror effect I think it looks pretty awesome it's, it's, it's something of course you need to have a morph transition to achieve this kind of result and if you have more morph transition so yeah that's that's a really cool effect to have in your repertoire so yeah ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching and see you in my next video and if you would like to join me on Patreon, please do so. Go to patreon.com slash oneskill and find out what kind of amazing rewards are waiting for you once you join me on Patreon. See you there, buddy.